So someone reached out to me recently and asked about the transitions that I use all the time. If you've watched any of my videos, you've probably seen them look like this. Insert a bunch of transitions here. So, and, and he wondered, how on earth do I make this work? And what transition, transition pack do I use? So, now it's time for me to talk about it. What's up guys, I'm Aaron the Tech Guy and this is a transition pack from Swiftly Studio. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so the transition pack I'm using is from Swiftly Studio. So the first step you want to do is go to swiftlystudio.com. Now, you're going to scroll down until you get to this one right here. Now, I know it says 80% off, sale ends soon, but it's been on sale since I bought it over a year ago. So I wouldn't worry too much about it going off sale. For, for $40, it is a pretty decent deal. Now, obviously, you, you just want to pay for it and all that stuff. I've, I've already bought it, so I'm going to skip, skip that step. Now, you want to go into Premiere. That might take a while, because Premiere, you know, that's just how it goes. Oh, and look at that, I haven't signed in. Give me one second. I'm gonna try this one more time. Maybe now it'll magically decide to work. Okay, now it's magically decided to work. Okay, so now that you're in Premiere, I'm gonna create a new project. I'm going to save it to the location I want to keep it at. I'm going to call this edit, edit for video. Okay. Now, once you're in your project, you're, you're going to want to import your transitions. So we're, we're, go, we're going to go to where, where, where you save the transitions. You, obviously, you want to unzip them before you do this. You're going to click on it, and for whatever resolution you're using, you're going to import whatever that, whichever one you want. So you, you have a you have a few you have a bunch of options, and for me, I'm using the 4K, so I'm, I'm going to import the <coughs> this one. It's the 3996 by 2160. So I'm going to just drag that in, and when it, when it when it asks you how you want to. Important, do import entire project. Now click OK. Obviously not now it's gonna freeze because it's a lot of files. So this this is pretty typical. Don't freak out if if it freezes on you. Now you run into another problem. You have to locate the media for for these transitions. So you're gonna click on locate. And you're basically just gonna click on you're, you're, you're gonna find each what the, the thing in the, you're, 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 you're going to find the folder, you're, you're, you're going to click on it. And, and I'm basically just following the file path that is set, is, is over here. And I'm going to keep going, going through. And I found it. So now, now it's going to locate the media that, that, that it's needed for the transitions. I feel like the Jeopardy music is in is it is needed here. Because I've just had to wait for a long time. Of course, now, now it's not responding again, which is pretty normal. So, and it's just and it, and it just finished. Okay, so now now that we have our transitions imported, now it's time to import some media. I lied. There's some more. Okay, and if more if more unlinked footage comes up, you just want to again find it in the in the, the locate menu. And I found it, so I'm just gonna click on that, and it's gonna locate it. 
I'm gonna have to cut a lot of this down. Just, there's just a lot of waiting. Okay. Now, now that we've imported all our transitions and located all the media, we need some footage. Okay, so now I'm, go I'm going to find the, the footage that, that, that I took at the intro of this video, and I'm going to use that as an example. I'm also going to make a new sequence. I'm going to call it main sequence. Let's change my settings. 24, because I make films. Films are shot 24 frames per second. Yes, I'm looking at you, Marquez. I don't even know you, but if you're watching this, 24 frames a second. Now, we're just gonna drag our footage in. Yeah, it's gonna do that. I'm also gonna scale this up by 200 because Okay, so, 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 now, so now we have our footage. So someone reached out to me recently and asked about the transitions that I use all the time. Now, it's time to use our transitions. So, you, you go into the bin that, that you found, that, they, that you imported, and you see we've got all of our transitions here. So I'm gonna pick a pretty simple one. I'm gonna pick the 2D, and you can see if you if if you scrub through the footage, you can see a preview of each transition before you import it. So I'm I'm going to import it just right here because whatever is just an example. So it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is drag it onto your clip, and boom, you're done, or almost done, I should say. Now, now you need to delete this layer because that's just that's a video layer for the footage, for for, for the preview you see here. Okay. Now you can play, as you can play it back. That I use all the time. If you watch any of my videos, it's not going to play back because my computer is slow. So I'm going to render it. Okay. So now, so now. As soon as this, this thing finishes rendering, you're gonna see that it'll play back perfectly smooth. See? And it works. You, you, you can scrub through it, and you, you can see that the effect works as intended. Now we can stick, stick another one. Obviously it's gonna lag, but you know that it's there and it'll work every single time. Now, the, you, you might run into a problem. You, you, you might see, when, when you report it, oh no, I don't, I don't see those effects layer, those effects layers. Well, never fear, the tech guy is here. All you wanna do is click on this button right here and you'll get your effects. It's that simple. It's really easy to use, the transitions work very well, and that's about it for this video. Congratulations. You've made it to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. I spent way too long filming this video, so you better like it, okay? Okay. As always, you're watching Aaron, the tech guy.